So I've got the Samsung Galaxy S20 right here. And today I want to show you how to unlock the boot. So I've got the Samsung Galaxy S20 right here. And today I want to show you how to unlock the bootloader for the Exynos version, as well as the unlockable Snapdragon version. Now the Snapdragon version that can unlock the bootloader is sold in very, very few places. But if you have the Exynos version or one of those rare Snapdragon ones, then we can unlock the bootloader to flash any other modifications we want on the device. To do that, we first need to have our device open or turned on and logged in. It needs to be connected to the internet. Because just like other some other uh, OEMs, Samsung makes us wait I believe it's about a week after the device has been activated before we can actually unlock the bootloader. So once you wait that initial time, and I'll have the details of that wait uh, time in the full tutorial on my website, we then need to go into the settings application. And we're going to need to go into the hidden developer mode menu. So we enable developer mode. We go into the hidden developer options screen. And right here, you're going to see a toggle labeled OEM unlocking. So if you have the Exynos version, or if you have one of the rare Snapdragon versions, then this will, will not be grayed out. This toggle will allow you to turn it on like that. Once that's done, we tap turn on. And now we're going to need to reboot the device into download mode. We need to boot into download mode via the USB method. So make sure you have a USB cable connected to your PC. Shut down the Galaxy S20, the Galaxy S20 Plus or the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Then we're going to boot into USB mode by holding the volume buttons and plugging in that USB cable. Once you are at this splash screen, we can unplug the USB cable. It's no longer needed. And you're going to see some options here. We can press the volume up button to continue to boot into download mode. We don't want to do that but we can long press the volume up button to get us into device unlock mode. So we long press the volume up button. That takes us to this unlock bootloader screen. And right here we are asked if we want to continue with the unlock process or if we want to cancel out. We can press the volume down button to cancel out or we can press the volume up button to proceed with the unlock process. You see the phone rebooted just a second or two after I pressed the volume up button. Now that we have unlocked the bootloader, we're going to get this warning screen each time the device boots up, unless you're using a custom kernel. Because we have unlocked the bootloader, for security purposes, the device is going to factory reset itself. So if you have any important data on that device beforehand, go ahead and back it up. Because it will not be there after you unlock the bootloader. And every time we do a factory reset, that first boot cycle takes a bit longer than normal. Android's got to set some stuff up, prepare some application cache data. So 
So we're just going to be patient and wait for the Galaxy S20 to boot us back into the Android operating system, which is going to be the Android activation screen. So it is going to take a few minutes to get us back to the Android activation screen, but it will get you there. This is going to be in a different language because I imported this device. But now you're able to activate Android and use the phone like normal with an unlocked bootloader.